Hey, welcome to Stockholm or as they say in Swedish, welcome to Stockholm. One of the only countries in Europe which is taking a slightly different approach to the COVID-19 crisis. The restrictions here are more of recommendations. The government stresses on personal responsibility rather than adding more and more restrictions. That's the reason why most shops, most hotels and most restaurants are actually open here and even wearing masks is a recommendation, not a rule. Let's have a look how the city is dealing with these current times and I will show you around all the tourist attractions that you can visit when times become normal again as a tourist. Let's have a look. By the way, for everyone who likes birds, this is a good place to watch them. There's a big feeding tray and that's why they all gather here. If you haven't already judged from all the snow around me and all the layers that I'm wearing, it's extremely cold here. The temperature is minus 7 degrees. And we are here almost at the center of the city. Behind me you can see the Swedish Opera House. That beautiful red building is the Jacobs Church and on the other side Behind me is the Swedish parliament and the royal palace over there. So now we'll cross over this bridge to go over there. Right now I'm standing in the space between the two parliament buildings. This side of the building is more in the shape of a rectangle while this side of the building is shaped like a semi-circle. And if you recognize this wall here, it's the famous place where the climate activist Greta Thunberg actually sat down to protest. Exactly this point over here. Standing here from this point, you can see that the whole parliament is actually situated on an island of itself called Helge Hans Holman. That's the name of the island. And the Swedish name for the parliament is Riksdag. And right now I'm standing on a bridge which connects this Helge Hans Holman island with the rest of the city. There's actually another bridge over there behind also which connects it. And on the other side of the parliament is the old city. This is Gamla Stan, the old town of Stockholm. Most of the buildings here are from 1700s and 1800s. There's a lot of also small narrow lanes which you don't usually find in other parts of Stockholm. The app said that there would be a scooter somewhere here. I see the wheel coming out. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> no chance. <laughs> I can't get it out. Then we'll walk, I guess. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to put on my hood now because it's becoming even colder. But behind me, you can see the old city from the outskirts. We are, we are on one end of the old city. One thing we really noticed here is how empty the streets are. But that might be because it's a Tuesday, so people might be at work or in their home office. This edge of the old town offers a really amazing view of Stockholm. Have a look at this. The frozen lake and behind you can see the sun is about to set. And right now we plan to go over to that point, which is apparently a viewpoint. Stockholm, don't miss this viewpoint. It's called Monte Lewis Wagen and it offers amazing views of the old town and the rest of Stockholm. Just have a look at this.
There's a lot of nice and unique museums in the city, like the Nobel Museum behind me, or the Medieval Museum, or the Photography Museum. But unfortunately, all of them are closed because of the current situation. We would have loved to go in this one. Maybe next time. You can't go to Sweden without trying some traditional Swedish food. So we went to a restaurant and I ordered the famous Swedish meatballs, Shedbulla. They come with lingonberries, which are similar to cranberries and taste almost the same. They are very popular in Scandinavian countries. I find it surprising how even though it's so cold outside, they put the ice in the water. This building behind me is a concert house, a theater for classical concerts here. And now we are going to another tourist attraction which is called the Sky View. However, it's a bit far away from the center of the city, around four kilometers. So we'll use the public transport here. Come. Right behind me is the sky view. It's basically two gondolas which rise up over the globe to provide you an amazing view of the whole city. Unfortunately, we came here and found this was also temporarily closed. But I will show you some pictures, put it right here to show you how it might look if you were up there. Well, there's one museum that we found open and that's the photography museum. Only 200 meters from here. The world record is <laughs> of 200 meters is 19.9 seconds. Let's see how long we take to reach there. <laughs> ah, probably missed the record by only one or two seconds. <laughs> but now we are here. Welcome to Photographiska. Let's go in. means a coffee and cake break which we are currently having right now if you come to the photography museum don't forget to come to the restaurant up here because it has amazing views of the whole city and really nice offerings of cakes and tea one nice outdoor activity you can do even in these times just outside of stockholm is ice skating on a frozen lake we decided to give one of the most common winter sports here a go and booked a guided tour, which usually includes not only ice skating, but also a nice campfire and, of course, a Swedish fika. Now we're going to have a small break. For the campfire. For the campfire. That's a part of the ice skating tour packages here. They bring you to a natural lake. First you ice skate a bit and then there's a nice campfire and you have lunch next to the campfire. We are just finding a place where we can make the campfire right now. These bananas mm -hmm. are a traditional Swedish campfire snack or dessert. Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel the heat. No. <laughs> it's so cold, I don't feel the heat. <laughs> you got your hands in the wrong place. Yeah, I also think so. Really? <laughs> closer to the fire, below the fire. How, how close? Below the fire. In it. <laughs> So Alex, what has been the impact of Corona on your the company you're working in, True Nature Sweden? Uh, 
It's, uh, well, we keep things going. Uh, mm -hmm. We're able to run our tours. We think it's really important to still enjoy the nature that's outside. Mm -hmm. uh, do it in a responsible way. Mm -hmm. uh, so our guests are responsible, we're responsible, mm -hmm. and uh, being outdoors, uh, we can minimize risks uh, from Corona and also uh, give people an enjoyable experience in Sweden. It's important to, uh, to enjoy the nature that's there, yeah. and uh, we make the most of it, like today. Unfortunately, the ice skating didn't really turn out that well for us because our shoes weren't sturdy enough. So do remember that when you go do it yourself. Have there been any changes compared to the past and the present? Are you doing anything different or? Guests are really helpful yeah. uh, usually, but uh, I'll politely decline. So we try and, and limit the uh, the interaction with things. I, I wash my hands. Okay. I, I take all the precautions I can. Mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that that we're providing the safest environment for mm -hmm. our guests. Mm -hmm. And it means uh, I do have to do a little bit more work because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not getting any guests uh, yeah. cooking uh, with me. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was wonderful to have you both today. Mm -hmm. We look forward to welcoming you back in the summer so you can see the whole range yeah. Of, yeah. of things possible. Sweden is Mm -hmm. has got fantastic nature that's a stone's throw from Stockholm. So yeah, whether yeah. it's ice skating mm. or kayaking or walks in the forest, um, yeah, we, yeah. we aim to give our guests a real taste of, of what's around uh, in, in Greater Stockholm and mm. uh, hopefully leave them with fantastic memories, experiences and uh, knowing a little bit more uh, about mm. the nature and, uh, and what's around. Great. It was really nice to have you today. Thank you. So these are some of the best things that you can do in Stockholm. We hope we gave you some ideas of what you can enjoy in Stockholm when you come travel here. Save this video and subscribe to the DW Travel channel for more such useful tips on travel. See you in the next video.